Well, my connection to Tōkana actually started from day one. We um, had a big welcome from Michael Steedman and our pōwhiri. Um, very first time I walked through these doors into this marae and onto campus. Right through my undergraduate degree, Tōkana was a really important place for me, not just to connect with my studies, but to connect with a community and make lifelong friends. In biology, we're now, I think, 36 years down the road. Uh, but we still have students from, you know, decades ago coming back in, checking in with us who are now, um, you know, lecturers, academics, or just working out in the community. We did papers that did have tōkana, and I'd managed to stealthily avoid any and all interaction with any support programs right up to my final year, where, because um, I did a biological science paper at stage one, and I liked it so much, I did it three times. Um, <clears throat> so I was in a bio lab at the beginning of what you know was going to be my last semester, and got a tap on the shoulder. Um, and turned around, and Mike Walker, and he said, "We've got these tutorials. Um, come along, see what you think, and, and then kind of go from there." And so I remember that quite clearly that interaction, and then going into the McGregor rooms, um, and getting my best grade. Uh, at the university, notwithstanding that was my third attempt at the paper, but the other two I wasn't really trying. Um, and so that was my first interaction with the Tuakana program through biological sciences, but mainly my first connection with Mike, Mike Walker. And then um, when I started at the university in my role as Kaiarahi at the Faculty of Science, essentially it was Mike that appointed me into my position and mentored me. So. It was a good returning home in a lot of respects and coming back under the tutelage again of Mike. During the early 90s also there was a series of hui held, some held here, in this um, whare wānanga of ours around Māori and Pacific achievement and, and Mike started having tutorials, collecting data um, and taking an informed approach around things that might work for Māori and Pacific students and called it tuakana, the programme was born out of a desire to do better uh, for our Martin Pacific student. Tuakana is present across all faculty, faculties now these days. It didn't used to be though. So, you know, over time one faculty might have looked to how it was going and another faculty, their neighbouring faculty, or where there are, there are students who were who were, who were perhaps doing double degrees or uh, were studying across faculties. And from there it has just grown. And that's a, I think that's a beautiful sort of um, example of its, it, uh, the, the expansion of its whakapapa. I think that it's grounded in um, our, our customs and you know if we, if we think about these things I mean these these aren't new the idea that the so the fact that we can still practice these ancient traditions and contemporary times at a place like this um, is awesome providing opportunities for our Māori and Pacific. Uh, students as they come through to maybe have their first experience with their uh, their culture uh, here too is, is gratifying in a lot of ways. Many have said over the last 10 years um, plus that they had come to Waipapa Taumatarau not knowing their, their wider sort of um, whānau and hapu connectedness but through Tuakana they got to meet people who might have had the same tupuna that been from the same marae, the same hapu, or the same iwi and um, have also had that crucial kind of initial exposure to te reo Māori or their other sort of um, the, the languages of their Pacifica heritage as well. And so um, I'm super proud that Tuakana has facilitated that possibility and reality for our Tawira. To be able to join such a legacy of success is actually, um, it's just quite unbelievable really, because um, you meet all of the alumni that have come before us and like, they're just kind of like people you'd walk by at home. They're like your aunties, your uncles. We have alumni now all across uh, the sector, if you like, uh, in, in places of importance and influence. Um, having come from the Tuakana program, have been committed to the Tuakana program. Program as students, as staff members, and just you know, just being around it too. So um, I'm, I'm proud of all of those things. To know that I'm here like 30 years later, being a part of the future that I guess 
Michael Walker wanted it to be. I'm part of the Whakapapa as a student, but also as a person that supported the programme, advocated for the programme, fought for the programme and continue to do that. So I'll never not be part of the tuakana whānau.